Hi, and welcome, of course, again, to the yep. Background Comics Podcast. Yep. Backgroundpodcast.com, if you're, if you're watching, you probably know where to find us. Exactly. And this is our um, San Diego Comic Con kind of wrap-up coverage. SDCC. That's right. And, uh, you know, you'll be hearing some from Pete, who was at the show, but what you're getting from us is coverage of the news for those of us who weren't at the show. And specifically, we're going to cover movie news, because uh, there, and some toy-related stuff as well, because there's a crap ton of it. Big, big news in both of those worlds. Exactly yes. Right. So what was the biggest thing for you about, that came out this week? Um, I was really excited to see that um, Hugo Weaving is the Red Skull in uh, Captain America. Yeah. I, brilliant, I think. I mean, a huge Hugo Weaving fan, and, uh, and I, think, I think for him to be Red Skull is kind of perfect. And the only footage they had from Captain America, which he's only been filming for five days five now, days at, at, at date of print. they actually had like three minutes of footage, and yeah. it's Hugo Weaving prior to becoming the Red Skull and the Cosmic Cube. Right. So, and then, of course, there were references tossed into that clip to Thor as well. Something so, about Odin's mystical handbasket or something. Yeah, <laughs> this is, this, yeah the Cosmic Cube, <laughs> yeah. he refers to it as being from Odin's. Yeah. And then there's a Thor, the Tree of Life, and then there's Thor is actually right. on a door. So yeah, there's that. Uh, we saw the, they did the, they saw the, they showed the first Thor action figure showing the yes. full costume, uh, as well as the Destroyer brilliant. robot. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I didn't see the Destroyer robot. Yeah, they had the Destroyer robot, like the full size nine foot model Sweet. there, which is pretty Weeping. cool. Wow. Um, the Avengers cast. Oh, Avengers cast news. Rip. Some surprises and some, no, I'm not excited. Yeah. About a couple. Written and directed by Joss Whedon. Love it. Um, and the, it's really nice. If you check out on the website, you can see it's crazy. They had all the cast on stage together. All the people confirmed. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the biggest kind of uh, shocker, and I mean that in the, uh, in the Dane, Dane Cook version of the uh, term, was uh, Mark Ruffalo coming in as, uh, as, the Hulk. as Banner and the Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love... Mark Ruffalo. I think, I think he's a great actor. I think he's very talented, and I have I, I, no problem with his chops. But what I'm curious about is whether or not... Is he, is he, is he, is he David Banner? Bruce Banner? I, I, are, they, are they calling him Bruce or David in this one? Do we know? I think Bruce. Bruce. Is he Bruce Banner? Bruce Banner. Hey, that's not just saying. <laughs> uh, I think... Uh, sorry, I hung no. out with uh, Lou Ferrigno at uh, the other Comic-Con, and I got confused. Um, so we also had the, Gro the Goon trailer. Yes. Which is gorgeous. Aldemari. Um, the red trailer, which I haven't had a chance to see yet. The, the red trailer is nice. Uh, the uh, machete trailer, which I, I didn't think see the machete had trailer. actually leaked at Cinco de Mayo, and it's it's pretty good. Um, that was what back on the fifth of May. Yeah, yeah, but I think they had a, a new red band trailer, more uh, Tron footage. Tron, freaking awesome looking. Tron, the big big push at uh, at Comic Con this yeah, year. They two were years. they're all very very excited about it. Yeah, yeah. and, and it's, it's not even. Years. So uh, that it's just huge. And yeah. I, uh, I actually downloaded the Tron game app for my uh, iPhone. If you want to check that out, it's actually an interesting little tank combat game. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool, and it's gonna, they're going to update it. It's free, and they're going to keep updating it. Uh, Walking Dead trailer premiered, mm -hmm. uh, as well as you know the full cast. Of Walking oh, Dead. Yeah, just yeah. according to Pete, it was amazing. Yeah, Pete, Pete had nothing but good things to say about that. He tweeted. He texted. He. He uh, called. I think there were some smoke signals at one point. He was so jazzed about the Walking Dead trailer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then Green Lantern, the Green Lantern Corps, is going to be a cartoon coming out in 2011 <clears throat> that isn't just following Hal Jordan, but it's following the whole Green Lantern Corps, right. which is pretty sweet. Um, we also got, uh, which means I think we're going to see the uh, Black Lanterns as well in that, in that cartoon. Um, oh, which, are we excited about that? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think we are. I, I want to see zombie lanterns in a cartoon. This is what I'm saying. Zom yes. Zombie Aquaman. I mean, come on. What's yeah. better than that? Yeah. yeah, nothing. And I don't know how far they'll go into it, but it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, uh, I think Brad Pitt's now rumored to be playing a role in the World War Z adaptation, which he's producing, but he's likely going to be a starring role. Um, what's the What's the name of the cat I saw that's going to be playing? Um, Hawkeye and the Avengers, because there was a lot of oh, Avengers uh, uh, yeah. info too. I mean, no uh, beyond wasp Joss. and no uh, no at, or no um, the ant, right? Uh, well, no, the ant. Jeremy Rayner or Reiner? Yeah, Jeremy Renner. Um, Renner. Um, 
I don't know if it was a joke or not, but he, Whedon he mentioned Fillion as Ant Man. I don't know if he was yeah, joking or not. I, that, and he that might have been joke. just Whedon being Whedon. From what I've seen, that was shot. a joke. Yeah. But that's yeah. for that's going to be a different movie. That's why we love him? They're going to that that right exactly. The the the, um, the Ant Man will have his own movie, which is why it won't be in the Avengers, um, because they're going to go for a, kind of a comedy thing. I don't really. But I'm, well, well, Jeremy Renner. No, the, the the last thing I remember seeing him in was another. Uh, well, him and Sam Jackson. Uh, uh, they did uh, SWAT. Yeah. Uh, uh, together, he was the he was the baddie in that. Uh, yeah. Jeremy Renner was. Uh, but um, uh, I, I'm I'm kind of excited about it because he's he's an actor who I've kind of I, I always kind of saw that maybe he could do more and I think as Hawkeye, uh, I think that fits. I think it's a really nice fit, a nice uh, a nice call for. For Joss Whedon and, and, and well, and John Favreau, who's doing the producing on this, uh, yeah. I think it's going to be solid. That is a hell of a cast. A hell of a cast. Although when I look at it, and and you know, only in light of, uh, you know, we've been talking about race in comics and DC. It's certainly the. It's certainly <laughs> a very white. Where's cast. his other hand? Um, because the of course you know Sam Jackson is the only African American in that cast. Mm -hmm. and, um, it, actually, the only African minority. Character. Minority at all, really? As well, um, so which is kind of the this is kind of the predominant makeup of. The whoa, 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 whoa! So. Cheadle. Cheadle is not on that. Well, Cheadle's not in the stage, picture, but he's yeah. in the, he's he's, 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 Iron he's, Man, he's Iron coming Man. back as a war, war, war machine. machine. Yeah. I, I, but in Iron or in um, Avengers? Yes, really, absolutely. Where the hell is Cheadle then? I saw that on uh, Ain't It Cool. Plug for another website. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh, um, the other, the Godzilla. Yes. So they redesigned oh, yes. Godzilla, and that's actually, that was revealed at Comic-Con, and it's, it's pretty badass looking. I'm excited about that, um, too. Well, didn't I see the, uh, oh, no, 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 sorry, that's comic news, we're only talking about movie news right now. That's right, predominantly movie predominantly. news. Um, Punisher, Marvel has the rights, that's oh, not okay. a deal. Well, <laughs> and this one is actually kind of cool, it's TV news. For Smallville, which is ending, and Michael Rosenbaum is coming back, I love me some Michael Rosenbaum. I love me some Michael Rosenbaum. Really funny. He was amazing as the Flash. Agreed. Um, I didn't really. I'm not. I'm not a big Smallville fan, but I just. I think he's his his Lex uh, in season one, season two, which uh, was really all I watched of Smallville, and I kind of tuned out. But um, he was a reason to watch that show. He. He was just he was just fantastic in that character and it, it yeah. really suited him and he pulled it off with such uh, naturalism naturalism yeah yeah he, he was naturalistic as hell as, yeah, uh, as Sam Jackson would say he's such a good actor I really uh, yeah I really enjoy mm -hmm. watching him he actually would make a pretty good Flash I would say um, so I think we've covered I know there's more obviously oh, well. there's tons that went on they did the Scott Pilgrim preview, um, which they played the full mill movie for for a crowd. They had a, they made it a big event. Um, we also had, yeah, uh, Green Hornet, which apparently the crowd was less enthralled with the comedy than they they were, were not, with the drama. They were not happy that it was that they were relying as heavily on the comedy aspects yeah. of it as uh, as they were on the on the uh, dramatic. And, and one of the things that you were talking about um, uh, off camera. Yes behind the scenes stuff was that, that uh, there a lot of the Green Hornet series that the comics themselves were fairly fairly dramatic and fairly actiony and fairly um, you know serious in that right. and it started as a, a, a radio, radio serial drama yeah exactly uh, but then when uh, when it came out on TV it was it, it hit uh, at the same time as Batman was on the air so yeah. Schlock and camp was the the, cool. the order of the day and and it uh, so people have a kind of a mixed memory of it yeah. So the last two pieces, because we're all out of time. Right. Judge Dredd is possibly being cast, so they're going to have an actual faithful reproduction that's not fucking Sylvester Stallone. I didn't break the law. <laughs> I am the law! <laughs> oh, oh, God. So terrible. And Chew uh, is going to be a TV series. Yay! So, um, uh, with some lost cast members I'm so uh, rocking it, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, that's it. There's obviously more, so get out there and check the news. Yes. Uh, and keep watching us to hear what we have to say about it. Thanks.